Hello and welcome to the workshop. Happy Sunday, even though by the time you see this video, maybe it won't be Sunday anymore. Happy Sunday anyway. It's been raining every single day here, but today it is finally nice outside, so I'm excited. I know I look like a caveman. I'm getting a haircut later. Got a lot of things on the agenda, but we're gonna get into some sneaker talk first. This is honestly a pair of shoes that I should have gotten months ago. It's a pair that I wanted. I don't know what took me so long, but here they are. Bang, bang. The Nike PG3 NASA. These released earlier in the year and retail was 120 bucks. I snagged this pair from Kixar for us, a local spot down here in Tampa, Florida. Shouts to them as always for looking out. It's actually a sneaker that I really wanted, like I said, but somehow I just ended up putting it off. I don't know if you can relate or if you've ever done that. It's like I wanted them, but you put them off and you put them off and then you kind of forget about them. The reason that I really wanted them was, it's a cool colorway, yes, but the reason that I really wanted them is because it's a new Nike basketball model, the PG3. Buckets and I, we pretty much cop all the new Nike signature stuff when it comes to basketball, even if it's only one pair, just to see how they perform. Even if we don't really like the colorway, just to see how they feel on court, how it feels to lace them up and play ball because we are basketball players and we love to play basketball, so it just kind of makes sense. I do love this colorway specifically, bright orange mesh, some blue synthetic leather on the one side, red on the other, silver around the ankle, Nike swoosh on the side, as you can see, a little motivation wrapping around the back of the midsole, remove before flight hang tag, American flag patch on the tongue, PG logo on the back, Apollo 14 patch under that, mismatched eyelets with the yellow and blue, kind of a cool touch, black outsole with that bright blue hit where the airbag is at, red on the other sneaker, PG signature as well. It's a cool looking sneaker in my opinion. Not so much for casual, but definitely on court. And I love all the little details. I love how bright they are. I've mentioned this before in previous videos, but I really like loud basketball sneakers. As far as actually playing basketball goes, on the court stuff, the loud colorways, they're my jam. Gotta have the spicy feats on court. Casually, I think maybe I like them a little more subtle, but on the court, I definitely like the loud sneakers. And I actually haven't played in the PG3 yet, so I might do that later today. Definitely was excited to get this pair, like I said, but somehow never did, and I really like the PG line in general. I still think the PG1 is the best model performance-wise. Again, I haven't hooped in these yet. Who knows? Maybe these will be better, but up until the PG3, the PG1 is my favorite. I know Buckets, who is behind the camera, he would agree. Overall, I think Nike has done a good job with Paul George and the entire line, and it'll be cool to see what they do with the PG4 and what new colorways we see, especially now that he's teamed up with the Claw, Kawhi Leonard and the Clippers, a new chapter. So we will see. It's always exciting when that happens. What are your thoughts on the sneaker? But maybe even forget about the sneaker. What are your thoughts on the PG trade? Man, this, is, this has been the craziest NBA offseason of my lifetime. Like literally by far, we talked about it on the podcast, but it's crazy. This has been an absolute insane off season. Leave a comment below and let us know how you feel about that. However you feel, always love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. You are very, very appreciated. We will be back tomorrow. Same time, same place right here at the workshop. We got a really cool trip coming up too. So just stay tuned. We will take you along with us like we always do. Don't fret. I'll be back. Adios. Thank you